<sighs> What's up guys? How many of you are keeping your New Year's resolutions? Hopefully many. We have Ring Fit Adventure here with a Nintendo Switch and I want to show you how to use this for serious weight training for one of the major lifts, the trifecta, the squat. The others being the bench press and the deadlift. But the problem with tech in the health industry or the health fitness wearables like the Apple Watch or the Samsung Galaxy Active is that they're great at tracking cardio, tracking heartbeat and rhythmic movement like jogging, running or swimming. But for serious weight training, the pillars of that are form, weight, load, and just making sure that everything is tight to avoid injury. And the power of the Ring Fit Adventure is it has a bunch of mini games, a bunch of uh, simple activities to track things like pressing your chest together, raising it above your lats. There's great mini exercises in there, but what stuck out to me was trying to add this to serious weights like 135 on the squat or 215 on the squat and one of the exercises there, the squat exercise in particular, you wrap this around your thigh and it is able to track this at a parallel level and score you, which is crucial to the form of the squat. So I'm going to throw some footage here of me squatting with this and it gives you a score to tell you how accurate you are which is a crucial piece, I think, missing an all tech in this industry to really track body movements, the weight, the load, and if you're parallel to the floor. So if you're familiar with squats, the cues for that are chest up, make sure the bars on your lats, make sure that you can squat ass to grass or your thigh parallel to the floor, and make sure that you're not holding your lower back, keeping your core tight as you go down. Those are a lot of cues for the beginners, and one of the things you can do is called a pause squat, right, where you go down and you can tap, say, like a bench or a chair, but a great cue is just keeping it parallel and strapping this on your thigh to make sure and it'll grade you. So in this video, you can see that even at 135, I didn't get perfect scores, 94, 97, but sometimes I got 100. So you don't even need this ring in the setup. So to set this up, all you need is to set up your Nintendo with your Ring Fit Adventure. All that really requires is this wrapped around your leg, all right? So I'll show that right there. And then your next cue on this is to press in on the ring con over here. And you should see that that should get us to this. You can see in your Ring Fit Adventure that you have these three options and you have Quick Play Adventure. Quick Play is great for mini games, but inside custom over here, you press A, you can make your profile. I'm selecting myself and I'm going to make this fitness list C over here for us to see. And I'm going to go over here and edit it to show you. But in this subsection of Ring Fit Adventure, there's recommended that has all these sets. Now I looked for ones in particular that worked specifically for the Switch where I wouldn't need this ring con here so I didn't have to put any weights. I wanted serious weights on my body. So I'm going to go into legs and if you notice here the squat exercise, the squat exercise simply says stand up straight and drop your hips. Dropping hips, we can load real weight onto that and we can have it track. The wide squat also, I'll continue looking at all these simple exercises on here to see ways we can kind of morph this into serious weight training. But I went to squat over here, added that, and you can see I added squat twice over here. And all you need to do after you do that is go ahead and start the exercise. So you don't have to run any RPGs. You can probably get away with probably some of the mini games on here, but this is the most straightforward way, all right? So we're doing a stretch. Skip that, let's head straight to the squat. squat. All right, and we're at this menu, and you can literally at this point hang this on the squat rack, anywhere you are, and you have this over here, this Joy-Con, and I'm gonna show you how it is. You just squat down, and it gives you a score just like that. You see I got 100 points for the squat, and I didn't have any weights. So by adding weights to there, it'll show you if your Joy-Con is parallel to the floor, which is a great cue. Now, other ways I recommend is probably an ultra-wide, or you can always have those tap-and-go type of squats, but those heights aren't exactly per person, right? That's a standard measurement. So for me, 
I have to squat pretty low to get it parallel to the floor. And that assumes everyone has a standard leg size, which isn't. But the Joy-Con is able to track if it's parallel. So I went through this and you notice there's 13, 14 reps that you have in here, which is great for an entire set, right? Starting with the bar, then putting 25s on each side, then 45s, 45, 25s. And if you can make the 215, you can obviously edit the weight such that you keep getting consistent scores on here of over 90, 94, 97, or 100 points ideally, and you're able to finish the set. Now, assume you have 14 on here, and you don't want to go do 14 of a certain weight. Obviously, you want your weight range between the 6 and 8 reps, and when I was squatting at 215, I wanted full control, so I was only able to do 2. Not too accurately, as you can see here. All you need to do is press start, and then you can quit the exercise and it'll record this as your lifts, all right? What's most important is just keeping this in view without having a partner and seeing what score you get if it's between 90 and 100. And it's great if you have a workout partner because they're able to show you and track this and tell you what weight you are. And it tells you once you squat at the bottom to hold and then return up, which keeps a steady pace for the weight so that you have total control over it. All right, guys, so go ahead and check out this footage. I'll show you how I recorded this and actually use Ring Fit Adventure into the gym. Super fun. Don't worry, you don't have to use this, and you can definitely throw in a bunch of different exercises on this Ring Fit Adventure. But I just thought, let's do some serious weightlifting and let's find the tech out there. I don't know why it's so scarce. They're so, they're most weightlifters who use fitness devices, they just put them on their wrists and they track their heartbeat during their entire set of weightlifting. And it's great for recording, but not actually analyzing form and function. And that's where things like ultra wide cameras kind of short throw vision so you can see if your back is straight, if you're getting those arches correctly, if you're doing the lift correctly, which is more important than how much weight and having a partner there. This little device, this Joy-Con, obviously it brings joy. Just strap it onto your thigh. It's really easy. And it's a great way to make sure you're doing your squat correctly, all right? So happy leg day, everybody. And I'll shoot you guys back with more videos to make sure we're doing our weight lifts well and happy New Year's resolutions, everybody. All right, thanks for supporting the channel. Ring to Adventure is super fun, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, bye, guys.